So what were some of your experiences in Kenya? Oh man, well when we landed, we landed at the airport and we got into um, a little van. We crammed eight of us into, into a van. Our driver's name was Peter. And uh, right away we went out to one of the villages. Um, the name of the, the village is Kajiado. Uh, and and they, they welcomed us as soon as we got out of the van. They were doing some of their uh, traditional tribal songs and they were singing for us. And then uh, we went inside one of their huts and oh, I, made, I drank uh, some, some milk out of one of their like gourds. They, they turned vegetables into bottles. I drank some of that and then we had some goat. They cooked a goat over a fire for us. And we, like the first and only time I've ever eaten goat. Um, and yeah, then they made us a big dinner. And it was really super interesting because their houses are just, they're small and they're made out of mud and sticks and straw. And they don't have a whole lot of material things. Uh, but all of their wealth is in their community and in their friendships and in their, their relationships. So they're really all super connected. It's really cool to see how kind everybody is to another and how helpful everybody is. Uh, and then well, one of the other big things, uh, when we went on safari, we saw a baby elephant take its very first steps. We pulled up and there was some elephants on one side of the road and there was a really small elephant with them and our tour guide um, told us that this elephant was born just right now. And all these other elephants were getting really protective of it so we stayed back. And then there was another group of elephants over on the other side of the road. And when the baby elephant crossed the road, this big group of elephants ran up to the new mom and the new baby with a bunch of branches in their trunks and like laid them at the feet of the mom as like a welcoming gift um, and some food for the baby. And it was just, it was really incredible to see like this ritual that these animals do and it's like how how much of a family they are, even out in the wild. Yeah. Would you say you would do it again? Oh yeah, oh man, I hope I get to go again. Because uh, we made so many friends over there and like we stay in contact with them. It's it's really an amazing place. It's very, very different. Um, like I just said, we were talking a little bit about the dirty water. Like we, especially us, as um, Americans, people who aren't used to the dirty water, we if we drank any of the water that they drink, we would get super, super sick, really sick, because they're kind of used to the germs, they're used to some of the the bacteria in there, um, so their stomachs can handle it. We wouldn't be able to, so we had to drink bottled water the whole time, um, brushed our teeth with bottled water, couldn't open your mouth in the shower. Like, you have to be really, really careful about that, so that's a little bit different, but people ask me what I missed when I was over there, and I didn't really miss a whole lot, just because we we have a whole we have all of the stuff that we have is um, we realize how unimportant like video games are, and you know how unimportant all these things are that we have or that we think that we need um, when you have such a tight community and such tight tight friendships. It's really cool. Thank you. Yeah.